Hello friends, I'm at Mr. Arnote, and today my objective is to tell you about Autocrat, which is a merge utility for Google Sheets. It's a very handy add-on that can be used for different functions. In today's scenario, the transportation department needs data from a sheet to create an invoice. Those invoices then in turn need to be accessible for other office personnel. To accomplish this task, first I will create a folder in Google Drive to house invoices. Second, I will create a template with merge tags. They have these little double arrows and then a header from a spreadsheet and the double arrows. Step three, I will run the Autocrat add-on and then step four, share the Drive folder with appropriate folks so that everyone has the information that was created from our awesome add-on. Okay, so let's get started. First, I'm going to go into my Google Drive and I'm going to create a folder that's going to house all of my output invoices. So this is going to be called ISD Transportation Invoices. It's always a good idea to put a date on your folders in case you need to refer to them later and you have a thousand folders like me. Okay, so I have created a destination folder first. Second, I have created a Google Doc that has all of the pertinent information that I want on it. I got a little header on it, and then I've got the formatting on how I want it to look. And then under Invoice 4, I will have the tag school that's here, the merge tag school. And then I have a merge tag of trip number, trip dates, and some other things that actually are going to be located on a spreadsheet here. I've got some trip numbers, dates, schools, sponsors, etc. So once I have the invoice the way that I want it with all of my merge tags, I can go over here to my spreadsheet now. This is a Google Sheet that I actually uploaded from Excel, and which is fine. The important thing is to match the merge tags with the headers that are across here. I'm now going to run the add-on called Autocrat. Autocrat shows up for me because I've already used it. If you haven't, you'll have to go down to Get Add-ons, do a search for it, and add it to your spreadsheet so that it is another tool you can use. Now that I'm ready, I'm going to click on Launch. There's going to be just a little bit of setup that goes along with it, but nothing too bad. We're going to create a new merge job. So once I click new merge job, it's going to ask me, okay, do you want to create a brand new template, an example template, or do you want to choose one from your drive? I've already created one. I could click on drive and find it in the interest of time. I'm just going to go straight to it. It's called ISD Transportation Invoices and shows up there because I've used it here just recently. It then will look at my invoice and try to match up the headers with the merge tags that I had in the invoice. And it looks like those all match up. If for some reason they don't, you can click and you can attach them to the appropriate header of your spreadsheet. Okay, those look good, so I'm going to click on Save. Then it wants to know, okay, your output files, the invoices that are created, need to have names. How do you want those to be created? I'm going to have them actually go by the school name and then maybe the group name. So school and then group name, and then it'll just say invoice, transportation invoice maybe. And then I might put for their trip date, um, in this case, trip date. Okay, you can output those files as Google Docs or as PDFs. Whatever's appropriate, select that. If your actual sheet had email addresses in it, you could have this utility actually email out to the folks that are on the document. I've used that for in a case where I had a Google form where people filled stuff out and then Autocrat automatically generated a certificate that was then emailed back to folks. Under advanced settings you've got a couple of options here too. The destination folder is important because you want all of your merged files to go maybe into a folder. They'll actually be accessible on our sheet which I'll show but I like having them in a folder too. So I'm going to click on add folder and I'm going to find that ISD transportation folder that I just created. It's actually right there, May 2016. I'm going to select it. And now I also can set a time interval for this utility to run. So it doesn't automatically 
go every hour I had to actually set a time interval and then select every hour that's as much as I can do it for it to run on its own automatically if you had a Google form there's actually an option for it to run every single time a new submission has come through once I click on save then on the right hand side that merge utility or excuse me that merge job should show up over here on the right hand side I don't know if I actually, oh, I called it IST transportation invoices. So it shows up there. Now I can actually run the merge. You can have other items in here as well if needed, if you had different types of merge jobs. But this is the one I want to go through now. So I'm gonna click on run merge. And as we go along, there will be a couple of columns that are created in your sheet and it's actually creating an invoice for every line of my spreadsheet at this point. It's got a URL that you can click on to actually see the actual outputted invoice. So in this case, for the very first one, if I take a look at it, hopefully, okay, so Bryant Elementary School, third grade, that was the school, that was the group. I said transportation invoice and then had a trip date was the output when we set that up. This is their invoice that has a subtotal on it. If I go back to my spreadsheet, there's one for every single line that I can look at. Now, it is wonderful that those show up on this sheet and are there for you to access. These are actually just private to you as they exist right now because they have just been created and by default, Google only gives owners the sharing privileges or edit rights of those documents. If it is appropriate for other folks to have access to these, then we need to go one more step. And that's over back in our drive file. Here is that same folder. So when I click on that folder, all of those Google Docs actually show up in there. What I can do is on that folder, I can right click and I can share it and then give the edit rights to the individuals that need it. So if my friend Randy works at transportation, I can give her the access to edit all of those files, or I can just make it so she can just view all those files if that's appropriate. And that point, then she will have access to all of the invoices that are attached on my spreadsheet. I hope that this was a useful part of your day. I think Autocrad is amazing. There's all kinds of great uses for it. Make sure you follow us at hashtag ISD strong and ask me for any help if you have questions. Thanks for your time.